Hello, Gemini. I hope you guys are doing awesome. So you want a soulmate reading. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, first part of this video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you. What you'll be dealing with facing. How to best handle it for your highest good. And in the second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask how your soulmate is doing. How they are relating to you at this time, especially emotionally. What's on their mind? Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini. For Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Gemini? What will Gemini be dealing with facing? And how to best handle it for the highest good? What is coming towards Gemini? My gosh, Gemini. Three of Swords, heartbreak. For three of swords to show up in position one, it means you feel severe emotional, deep pain, severe heartbreak. In a traditional deck, this card is depicted with a heart being stabbed by three swords. So you feel tremendous heartbreak. This is severe. Yeah, look at this. Emotional, great emotional loss, disappointment crying over spilled milk, so to speak. You feel great emotional loss, heartbreak, deep regret. You regret something very deeply in your soulmate relationship. Whatever happened is severe, is crippling you emotionally. You are missing your soulmate tremendously. A lot of you are dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. <sighs> Some kind of uh, sharp communication, blunt communication happened between you two. This is inconsistency in communication. Blunt communication. Some sharp words were released, whether by you or them or both of you. Words that hurt you very deeply. But the person was honest with you. Uh, they were very direct, honest, but blunt in communication. And for some of you, you delivered that blunt communication in your conversation. Wow, a lot of you are dealing with Cancerian. You are very stressed out. You're going through a lot, Gemini. Very stressed out. Also, uh, a lot of you are dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, this is you overanalyzing, worrying excessively. Worrying where this is heading. This is you going through a lot of trauma. You very uncertain on what to do to move on or to heal. You feel stuck. Like you are at a crossroads trying to make important decision. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Virgo again. This is you trying to use your wisdom to make wise choices. My gosh, silent treatment showing up here. For a lot of you, there's no communication at this time. You feel blocked. Very blocked. Yeah, this is you waiting on them to see what they do, if they do anything, if they communicate. This person is very withdrawn right now emotionally towards you. They feel connection with you. A lot of you are dealing with Aries, another Gemini, also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They feel that this is an important connection, but they very withdrawn emotionally. Yeah, they feel very withdrawn emotionally towards you. So we asking your energy, but they showing up already in here. You are very much going through a lot of heartbreak that's extremely deep because this is showing up in position one. <clears throat> And this is loss too, emotional loss, emotional loss, emotional and physical loss. You're missing their physical presence, 
emotional presence. Let's see more for you, Gemini. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages. Then we're going to go into your soulmate's energy directly. What's going on with Gemini? What's coming towards Gemini? What will Gemini be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good? Three of Pentacles. You're concentrating on your job, finances. Oh, the devil. Toxic energy showing up here. Again, Page of Swords. <clears throat> so there's some kind of toxicity between the two of you. Something toxic happened between the two of you. Whether you walked away, they cheated, or you cheated, or you both cheated, or you both abused each other. Whatever happened between the two of you is very toxic and needs to be released. This is karma creation. This is bad energy between the two of you right now, the way you are standing. Again, you got Page of Swords. Uh, blunt communication, direct, blunt, hurtful communication, but honest communication showing up here. So you want to have a new beginning of some sort. Wow, your energy is very heavy right now. You can't see clearly what you need to do. Your energy is feels heavy, toxic, contaminated. This is not good. You need to pick yourself up because you are very deeply depressed. This is deep depression. You need to pick yourself up. Wow, this is not good. Deceit, betrayal, seven of swords. Yeah, this is you waiting, feeling stuck, unable to decide what you need to do. Again, Page of Swords. So you checking up on this person any way you can to see what's going on with them, how they're doing. You checking up on them. A lot of you are dealing with Taurus, Virgo, also Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancerian. This is you wanting to be happy, feel joy. You feel very guarded emotionally, stuck, unable to make a decision on what to do. Some of you did this person wrong. Some of you betrayed this person's trust. Maybe you left them for a third party. You did something very toxic. And now you have to deal with this. This is not good. Yeah, you're showing up here as very cold, emotionally detached, um, depressed, um, guarded emotionally. Some of you were betrayed by the other person. So you will know your own situation because this is a collective reading. No matter what happened, whether you betrayed them or they betrayed you or you both betrayed each other, this needs to change because this is creation of karma, toxicity. This is very bad. The devil showing up here next to star. Oh, let's see more. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. You need to pick yourself up, Gemini, emotionally, because you are very depressed, deeply, deeply depressed. You need to pick yourself up, do something for yourself to make yourself feel uh, lighter emotionally. This is not a good, good reading for you. You need to, if you need to get help, outside help, go ahead, do it. There are people trained uh, in medical field who can help you with your depression. Uh, remember that asking for help is a sign of strength, not a sign of weakness. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate in relation to you. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini. For Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Gemini. The soulmate of Gemini. No matter what sign or gender they are collectively. What is going on with the soulmate of Gemini? And how is the soulmate of Gemini currently relating to Gemini at this time? 
especially emotionally. What is going on with this soulmate of Gemini? Three of Cups. Huh. This person is celebrating something. Wow. This person cares for you, loves you emotionally, but is not expressing it to you, not telling you. They're not sure where this is heading. They have fears, question marks, unanswered questions. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with Cancerian, also Virgo, another Gemini showing up here. They want communication, honest, open communication. They want honesty. Yeah. So this person cares for you emotionally. They feel stressed out because they don't know what's going to happen. Look at this. They also feel heartbreak, just like you do. They feel heartbreak. Both of you are feeling heartbreak. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo. They are very introspective, quiet right now, uh, trying to make wise decisions, analyzing what happened. They feel tremendous heartbreak as well. Yeah, this person is trying to figure out what to do. They love you though. Yeah. They feel immense, very strong soul connection from past lives with you. Six of Cups means the two of you were together emotionally involved in romantic relationships in other lifetimes. Um, this person is trying to pick themselves up emotionally, spending time with their loved ones. Uh, they're hoping for some, some kind of communication to happen. Uh, let's see more, more, before we go into extended reading. Universe, what's coming up for Gemini? Anything else, universe, you need Gemini to know? This just fell out. About this connection, Two of Cups. Let me see the bottom. Ace of, okay. So this person feels and is certain that what the two of you have is real especially when it comes to emotions, feelings, that the two of you have a real, real connection, real relationship when it comes to feelings. This person wants communication, back and forth communication. That's what they hope to get, communication, back and forth communication. New beginning. Yeah, but they feel you took them for granted. You didn't appreciate them. You didn't see their worth, their value. Like you took them for granted. And some of them feel that if they reach out to you, you're going to turn them down or not appreciate them. Yeah, they would like to come in with some kind of solid offer. A lot of you, again, are dealing with Cancerian, also Taurus, Virgo, Leo. See, they're waiting. They've been waiting on communication. They want some kind of new beginning in their life with or without you. They want new beginning. They want to travel also to get away from everyday life, to clear their mind. A lot of you are dealing with very independent Virgo, also Taurus. No matter what sign they are, they view themselves as single in this connection with you right now, as not being with you in a relationship. They're concentrating on their finances, business, health, job. They're trying to make wise financial decisions. Yeah, very much concentrating on their work, their job. Very heartbroken. Again, three of swords, heartbreak. This person feels tremendous heartbreak. They feel very sad, just like you do. Ooh, this one had to fall out. Three of Cups. They want to feel happy again in their life. They don't. They, they, a lot of them are getting together with their loved ones, whether they are their friends or relatives or both, trying to keep their mind occupied, not think about this heartbreak. For some of you, there was a third party involvement, whether you did it or they did it or you both did it to each other. You know your own situation. For some of you, there was a third party involvement. 
and that's what broke up this relationship for a lot of you this person cares for you but they are guarding their heart they not they feeling this tremendous heartbreak three of the swords here are pointing up they are not uh open with their heart to you right now very guarded emotionally some of them told you off very bluntly uh harsh communication showing up here from them Oh my gosh, what is this about? Something bad happened because both of you feel this tremendous heartbreak. Let's see more for you, more for you, Gemini, before we go into the extended, you see, for the third or fourth time, fourth time from two different tarot decks, Page of Swords. <clears throat> there was some kind of blunt communication that happened. Yeah, this person is uncertain what to do and uncertain what you want to do. You guys are not communicating. <sighs> Some of you are communicating sporadically here and there. A lot of deep regret. Both of you are feeling deep regret, heartbreak. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo, also Virgo. Aquarius showing up here. See, um... You will have a chance to communicate with this person. Back and forth communication showing up again with eight of ones from another tarot deck. So you have an opportunity to communicate with this person. This person has high standards. They're very sad, just like you are. Both of you feel heartbreak with the three of swords and both of you feel this sadness with five of cups. Both of you feel this and this is unresolved. So they have some deep regrets. This, this person may have told you off very bluntly. Uh, and they regret hurting your feelings. They didn't mean to hurt you, but maybe they expressed it in the heat of the moment when they were upset. Um, Gemini, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time we're going to ask anything they hiding from you whether they hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you from universe from spirit on how to best handle the summit connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life whether it's your health finances business job opportunities family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Gemini, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Thank you, guys.